Well, Graeme Souness joined us earlier to pay tribute to his former Sampdoria teammates and great friends. Souness had some brilliant stories about Viali's fun-loving character. I was 31, he was 20. He stand, he, my nickname was Charlie. I, I christened him Handsome. He, he, would, um, he would stand in front of the mirror, starkers, not a thing on, and when he had hair, and he'd be this full length mirror in front of all the guys, and he would say, he would say, Charlie, Charlie, do you think I'm handsome? As he's brushing his hair, hair back like they didn't have a lot of hair. He ended up not having a lot of hair, but he did have a lot of hair at the time. And I would say, handsome, you're an expletive, handsome. And he'd say, Charlie, you're right, I am handsome. And he would do that on a regular basis. And a lot of the boys didn't really speak much English. And they would just shake their, shake their heads and, and look at them and... and and laugh. He, he was such a warm individual. I can't, I can't really remember him. Yeah, he got upset when we lost. He got upset if someone caught him in a game. But I can't ever really remember him getting up really angry and being, you know, unbearable like we all can be when we get angry. He was just, he was just such a warm soul, such a caring soul. I, I am. Um, and it was another time when we were playing in Milan, I can't remember if it was Inter or it was Milan in the winter. And Milan in the winter is also a lot of fog around. And we were staying in this complex where there was a big lake outside. So Trevor Francis and I came out for our walk and we looked across the lake, another side of the lake. He's bending down with his tie off. He's got it in, in a lasso and he's got some bread in his hand and he's trying to lasso a swan. He's trying to encourage the swan to come towards him. And, I said, let's go over there. So I, I, um, I ended up pushing him into the lake. And this is, a, this is you know, three hours before the game. Uh, we had to swim to get out. I mean, it was a proper, proper deep lake. And I really paid the price for that going forward for about the next 12 months because I'd come in from training, the lakes cut off my trousers, a brand new pair of trousers I bought. One of my shoes would go missing. Um, find it in a bin somewhere covered in, in food. Um, I remember when I had a pair of lattice shoes, you know, they sort of woven shoes. Um, and I put them on one day and he had filled them with shaving foam. So as I put my foot into the shoe, all the shaving foam came out through the, the, the sort of lattice work of the shoes. He was just forever messing around. He just loved to laugh 